All right, thank you, Holden. Coos County is looking to balance its budget and some important departments like the Coos County Sheriff's Office could be in some trouble. The sheriff is already looking into cutting personnel, something he says will leave a massive impact on public safety. Are there any solutions to this problem? KEZI 9 News reporter Julia Mora Rodriguez shows us. We've done some amazing things and have some ongoing long-term projects going right now, and I really don't want to lose that momentum. Cutting staff, reducing the size of the Coos County Jail from 98 beds to 49, reducing patrols. These are some of the tough decisions Sheriff Gabe Fabrizio is facing in order for Coos County to have a balanced budget. Curry County to the south is also facing budget cuts as well. With drug recriminalization coming back in September, Sheriff Fabrizio is worried about public safety in southwestern Oregon. I'm concerned that it will be a, a safe haven once September comes, it'll be a lot harder to enforce any kind of laws that have passed the, the unclassified misdemeanor for House Bill 4002. The sheriff and county officials are looking at other ways to balance the budget and prevent some layoffs. Some of the ideas that have been thrown around include another public safety levy like 6-213, which was rejected by voters in May. Another solution would be the creation of a public safety district, which would separate the sheriff's office budget from the counties. A new 1% sales tax within the county was also discussed alongside reducing property taxes. With the raising of the taxes, I think I would be a lot more on board with something like this that really adds to keeping me and my community safe. Um, I do know that I'm not excited about raising taxes if it's for things that aren't going to really contribute to the whole community. So this really would. In spite of the cuts, the sheriff wants to reassure residents they will make it work. So no matter what happens with what we have, we will continue to do the best we possibly can. And that might be reduced, unfortunately, but that's a reality and we'll go forward. Reporting in Coquille, Julio Mora Rodriguez, KEZI 9 News.